Okay, so I found something kind of neat the other day. I just got a Fitbit and I've been obsessed with finding the perfect watch face. So I went on my on my Fitbit app on my phone and I was searching through them and I came across something that said create your own Fitbit watch face. So I downloaded it like you have to load them each watch face onto your phone for it to transfer to your Fitbit. So I did it and then it told me to go to, it is fitface.xyz. And then after you, you create an account, it's, it's absolutely free. And this is kind of what the page looks like. Sorry, I'm sitting kind of close, I'm really short. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up a second tab. We're gonna go to the exact same site, fitface.xyz. And then on the second one, I like to have a second one open. We're gonna go to the getting started guide and we're gonna click there. And then here's what it looks like. We're gonna go to tags. So when we go there, this is gonna pop up. And I searched YouTube to try to find a video about this so I could learn how to do it. And literally I only found one and the guy didn't really go into detail. He wasn't very thorough with it. So here are your tags. These are the only thing that you're going to copy and paste. And you'll see why here in just a minute. So these are going to be your dates. This is day and month. And that's going to be a single digit. Unless it's 10, 11, or 12. And then an up. And then day and month leading with zero. So the single digits will always have a zero in front of it. That's what that is for. Your day in here. Um, day of the week. You can do it with just the abbreviations or you can do it with the whole day spelled out. And then that is going to be your your tag that you're going to copy and paste. So there's quite a few of them for month and year, year, week and year. So when you're designing your, your watch face, you can just literally put on it whatever you want. And here's going to be like your time the hour, the minute. Um, I've seen a lot of do people do the seconds of the minute. I haven't done that. There's your AM, PM. Uh, you can do the, the rotation clock. I don't personally like that, but to each his own. Here's your activity. Your number of steps taken. You can have your steps goal in there. Um, your active minutes. I really hate that. It's annoying because I think that, that automatically recommends that you are constantly moving for at least 30 minutes. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, my son is disabled, so I'm, I don't really do a whole lot of moving unless it's to him. So here is your distance, your heart rate. Down here, sensor, it's going to be your battery percentage. Um, this is kind of neat, I didn't know about this one, but the touch counter. so how many times you touch the face of your watch in a 24 hour period. That's kind of neat. So those are going to be your tags. We'll go back up here and we'll go to the front. And then I've already created an account. So I'm going to go up here and click on the little person. Um, we're going to go to clock faces. Here's the ones I've already done. Um, I'll click on a couple of them and show you. I did the, a bubbly looking one. And then these are just going to be your, like, these are just suggested. These are not actually what my stats are. But this is the real date and time. And then I'll go back up here. <clears throat> Here's the one I just did. It's the one that's on my watch right now. You can overlap. You can do the ombre fade. Any colors you want. Um, yeah, just literally create whatever you want so I'll show you how to get started on one go up here click your clock faces you're gonna go right here to new clock face and then this is gonna pop up and it's gonna just be a random suggested face like name whatever you want to call it you can click here if it's for the Versa if it's for the iconic or if it's for both um, you can change this now or later it doesn't really matter go ahead and click create and then you're going to have a blank canvas. Uh, my screen looks kind of dirty. <clears throat> so this is what we start with. 
over here, when we're done, this is going to be filled with all kinds of stuff. And it's going to look really confusing, but I swear once you get started on it, it's really simple. So we go down here, we're going to click the plus. These are going to pop up. You can do add lines, squares, circles. You can add images, but I've had a lot of trouble doing this. I saved some from my phone to my computer to try to do it, but it's only letting a 300 by 300 dimension, and I can't seem to get my images small enough. I've seen a lot of people on here can. I don't know how they're doing it, but if you can, more power to you. Um, here's going to be some Fitbit icons. And then to pop up, you've got your active minutes, your calories, your distance, your floors, your heart rate, your steps. Go up here and click the 32 px and then we'll drop the hollowed out ones i like those better the 48 it just makes them bigger um but i like this so we're just going to go ahead and start with we'll start with the heart over here is where you're going to customize it go ahead and click on that you can change your color uh we're just going to do purple because i like purple and then you just click on it and you can just drag it we're going to go ahead and just put it down here and then I'm going to go ahead and move it around over here, but right here you can see that the numbers are changing your position. That's to like, to help you see I'm at 249. Um, I don't mess with that up there. That's, that's position this way, but the 249 is position this way. And I want them all to be 249 across the board so that they're equally level. So... The tags that I just showed you on the second page I have waiting. Okay, so we've clicked off screen, so we've got a heart. Go back down here, click it again. We're going to hit text, and then this is going to pop up. It's automatically going to say hello every single time you hit text. So we're just going to go ahead and take that out of there. Um, we're going to go ahead and do our color purple again. Okay, so then we're going to go... Oops. Oops, sorry. I gotta mess that one up. I'll start over on that one. Delete element. You can delete anything you want. Okay. Go back over here. Hit text. Take out hello. Go ahead and change it to purple. Okay. And then just click in your text so that you're already there. Go up to our tags we have. And since we're at the heart, we're gonna want the... We're gonna go to activity because that's where your heart rate's gonna be. And then literally just click and drag. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna go back up to where we're at. And then in the text where it said hello, we're just gonna copy it. We're gonna paste it here. And then see it looks like nothing, but your preset, it's, it's just a number. It's not really what you have. So my heart's too far down. We're gonna move it up a bit. Move up our 74. Okay, so the red dot right here, that's because it's going to be default on this side, but we want it in the middle so that if our heart rate's over 100, we don't have one being cut off over here. It'll always just like kind of put these numbers over. That way they're all equally in the middle below the heart. So we're going to go over here. We're going to click the middle one. And then it did kind of move it because that's where the red dot was. So now it's in the middle. So we're just going to click it there. And then you can also go, and I like the thin, so we're going to change, you can change your font, you can change the size of your letters, um, we'll do a 25, you can make it bold, you can make it bigger, or regular. I think for that size we're going to be regular because I'm going to put a few down here. So just click off screen to get that gone. Go back over here. I'm going to just add a couple more icons. Got the heart. Let's do, let's do calories. So I have not found a way to change the sign of the size of the icons yet. So I'm going to click on my heart and see, okay, I'm at 234. So I need to click him and get him 234 exactly see how 
they're equal and then over here as you're designing it's going to kind of show you what it's going to look like on your watch so you have that there now I'm going to click off screen I'm going to go down here and click and go back to text remember our hello is always going to be there click on them get rid of them go to purple go back up here and since we're at our calories we're going to go that's going to be in your number of calories burned you can do number of calories burned in your goal or just burn I just do the ones that are just burnt copy it back up here we're gonna go back over here paste it again you're gonna need to go over here and do the middle that way it's always going to be equally okay so let's click on our 74 and here we're at 285 and if I click on the calorie number, see we're at 287. So I was close just by eyeing it, but we want to get it perfect. So we're gonna we're gonna take it up. So it's at 285. So they're perfectly even now. And then over here, they're perfectly even. Um, I'll go ahead and do a clock so that you guys can see that. We're gonna hit text. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it in purple too, just so it's all. All even we've got our hello get rid of that go back over here okay so time hour in the day I do like mine to lead with a zero it's gonna be right here so I'm gonna click and hold it copy it okay and then we're gonna go over here and paste it here and then we have our time and then we're going to drag it I like mine to be a little bit bigger and to kind of overlap so we're just going to put it like right here it looks good to me I'm going to get down here back up to text get rid of our hello let's do this in like a different shade we'll do kind of like a pinky pinky color okay now Again, time. So now we're going to look for, we're doing the minutes of the hour. I do like mine to leave with zero. So we're going to copy that. And go up and back over here into our text. And we're going to paste it. Okay, so let's click our 09, the hour. We're going to see how big it is. It's at 128. So we go over here and we click our minutes. We're only at 30, so we're just going to 128, and then it's automatically the same size, see? And I'm going to kind of stagger it, overlay it, kind of looks cute down there. And then go back down here, click our text. Now I'm going to do something I didn't do on any of my others. We're going to get rid of the hello. We're just going to go ahead and put a colon in there. Uh, what color should we make it? Um, let's do a gray. And then you can't really see the little guy. We're going to make him bigger. And we can just kind of place him right here. That way it looks like that. And so far it looks like that. Okay. Let's go over here. And we're going to do our steps. And we want him to be purple. And here he is. I'm going to drag these over a bit. Alright, everything is absolutely even. And then over here, you can see how everything's starting to kind of come together. And then we're going to do our text. Get rid of our hello. Purple. I'm going to go back up to our tags. And then so since we're doing our steps, we're going to be an activity. Number of steps taken. Very first one. And then just copy it. Back over here. Paste it. 
And we're gonna go, just don't forget to do, there we go, middle. And then we're gonna drag him over to the middle. And then this is how it's kind of starting to look. I do like to do a battery percent. Unfortunately, there was not a battery percent icon, so you have to kind of do that yourself. And we're gonna do this in gray. We'll kind of do like a like a purple and gray kind of theme like my other one. Um, go ahead and just fill in your percent. It's gonna be shift five. And then we're gonna go ahead and just drag him up up in the corner. We're gonna make him smaller. Just kind of put him up in the corner there. And back down here. And then gray. We're gonna go back to our tags. And since we're doing a battery percent, he's gonna be all the way at the bottom under sensor. Battery level and percent. You can also do the charging status if you want. Like I said, this is kind of like you make it what you want. I have not seen any of these or this on any other YouTube video and so we got again that's just a recommended you can make it a little bit bigger if you want 12% so over here this is how our face is looking it's kind of neat so that's the gist of it about how to kind of get started um, there are like i said the image you can you can do pictures so over here so we're going to go ahead and um like i said you can change that name we're just going to do i'm just going to do p for purple and then you can save it and then we're going to hit this and go back to our clock faces so here's the new one i just did and if you want to publish it, you click that. And then over here, it's going to ask if you want to publish to gallery. You hit that. It will, if you want to put in a description, like, you know, how it makes you feel or why you made it that way, you can do a price. Um, it's going to ask the currency of, you know, whatever you're, wherever you live in. If you're not in the United States, then I'm not going to charge that one. So we're just going to hit publish and then it automatically goes to the board. So now let's go up here to gallery because anytime you hit the little person and you're in your clock faces, this is what you're automatically gonna see, which is gonna be your stuff. But gallery is ones that people have already done. Um, it's kinda neat because there's like hundreds on here to choose from. Most of them are free. What, Bubba? Sorry, my kids aren't in bed yet. What rider? But anyway, like I said, you can you can go and you can click this. That one's kind of cute. You just hit it, and then up here it's gonna add your favorites. And then um, see, they're free. What rider? I don't think you can hear me. But anyway, that's the gist of it. So there you go.